and also very nice. The idea of the blind spots and the, the way you describe the things that you're going through, even the POV through from the back of the cover. Those things are also come alive. Um, some parts that you may want to reconsider is that conversation with the estate agent. Uh, there's no you know, sentiment in the disease you're talking about treats into the past. It just seems like you, know, you just want to, at the, at the sake of uh, your practice, credibility, or integrity, you just wanted to put in a, a, an intellectual agent, but no paper balance there. Um, uh, I don't think Uncle Eric needs to say, Emma, I'm sorry, uh, when he sees the, 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 the photographs. Um, that said, um, I, I, my major issue with the motivation is I don't understand why he softens towards me. Uh, I don't want to miss something, but I don't understand what changes his mind. Because he goes from being very angry, locking around the cupboard, to it, when he opens it up, he says, he sees it, and says, I'm sorry. But he's already considering it, because the estate agent has to tell him, he must make a decision on this soon. So he's already going through the animal life. Yeah, and I, I just wanted to see, uh, maybe this is too predictable for some, but I wanted to see you bookend it with the uh, kaleidoscope POV, and because you start with that, I wanted some kind of sort of optically, um, you know, optically creative way of looking at it. It could be a telescope, it could be you know, a different kind of device, but I think that might be something that you might want to, want to play with. Uh, I'm a bit not sure of the whole. Star Wars kind of holograms of Anakin Skywalker, sort of dead end, and this kind of this happy spirits in the party. If you can find another way to work, another visual style of working in that grandmother's idea of the souls, that might be nice. So I can see it. When they're, in the, when they're in the hospital and the grandmother says, um, I think I'm dying, I have, a, I have a problem with that because later she's not dying. And it feels like, a, because of that, it feels like a trick to get us to, to, um, to hook the audience as opposed to what she really do. I mean, if she's going to die, maybe she should die. If she thinks, if she knows she's going to die, maybe she should die. Or she could be worried that she's going to die, but not know that she's going to die. And, and, or she could not even say anything, but the little girl, Emma, thinks she's going to die because her parents have died. So what's important is that Emma thinks she's going to die, and that she's worried that she's going to die. And her uncle somehow is evil and the, um, uh, and is the, is the reason why. You know, she wants to blame the uncle, and she wants some reason why her parents died. And so now she's worried that it's He's going to be responsible for the grandmother death. So, if the grandmother doesn't have to say anything, um, the the first time the closet is introduced, it has this, this hallucination to it. When she's thrown in the closet, I, I wondered why the hallucinations didn't come back, and we see her face again. You know, things happening when she's in the closet, she's locked in the closet, um, which would cause her. To, to cry or um, to be frantic, and then, then she could find the light. At some point she could find the light, and then the photographs. And when, um, when Uncle, Uncle Eric comes in and opens the door to bring her out, I thought that he would be sorry, because earlier he had, at one point, said he he'd sat down with her and said, why did you say that to people? And I thought he was very sympathetic then and trying to really understand her. And she rejected him. But so I believe that he might try after that he might feel remorseful for throwing her in the closet. But when he sees her, if she's got dirt on her face and tear stains and and she's disheveled and, and he he sees what he's done to her, that to me would cause him you know, might cause, cause him to be remorseful, that he sees that. And the flashback, when he was put in the closet, I don't think he knew that, because I think this is a story between the two of them, and we've got that beautifully. Um, we've got that going beautifully. 
I think he would, if he saw her, that would give him reason to be remorseful. And then he would see that she's looking, but maybe by now she's moved on because she's seen these photographs and she's curious about him. And the next scene you have, sometime later with, with the kaleidoscope, I wonder if that scene could happen when he finds her in the closet and she asks him, Uncle, was this you? What, what are these things? And then he could start telling her what they are and that's when they start to come together. Um, I didn't understand, my last notice, I didn't understand, did Uncle Eric, was he moving things out of the, the shop because he was selling it? And there was a new new company moving in? Uh, no, what I wonder was that he uh, was trying to clean up the shop to make it a viable business because at the moment he's just selling it. So uh, he didn't. Um, he was torn between selling the entire shop house, which would be an easy, would be easier for him, or trying to do something. To so at the end, it's a very different shop, but it's still a work shop. Um, it still belongs to him, but um, it's sort of because he has like this image about astronomy. So um, he finally has the opportunity to like, express that in. I, I, um, I think it might be clearer if he's trying to sell the shop, but then he changes his mind. I, I, that's just me, but it, it, it was confusing to me. I thought at first that he really was selling the shop because things were moving out and things were coming in. New, new things were difficult to shop.